Hey guys, I just wanted to give you a quick tip. I'm out on Lake Eufaula right now doing a little uh, pre-practice scouting. Uh, it's been several years since I've been out here and it's a body of water I'm really not that familiar with. And I'm on my way to Lewis Smith Lake from the Harris chain down in Florida. So I thought I'd stop for a couple hours and do some graphing out here. Just try to, to familiarize myself with the body of water again. And I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a tip uh, for when you come to a new body of water like this, if you're running a Lowrance graph and you've got the CMAP chip, you need to be doing, doing the color shading for two reasons. One, from a navigational standpoint, you can make troublesome areas pop out so that you can avoid them with ease. Uh, I always make my shallow water red, just so I know when I'm running, if I see red on my screen, that's probably not an area that I want to take my boat through. Uh, the second feature has to do with when you're looking for offshore structure. Uh, first, if there's a specific depth range that you're finding the fish in, that color shading will allow you to really key in on that specific depth range. But at the same time, it allows you to see the contour lines uh, uh, in a much more visual manner so that you can see the spots that you think might be productive uh, much faster and efficiently to, you know, just really make those spots pop out. So I want to show you guys how to do it. And this is, it's really simple. So here's what you got to do, guys. The first thing that you want to do is go to, so you got your map pulled up. You go to more options. Once you've got more options pulled up, you go to chart options. Scroll up a little bit and you'll see shading. Okay, so now you've got your shading column brought up. So it's customized colors. And this is the colors that I've chosen. What you wanna do is you click on, you know, whatever range. So in this case, this is zero to three feet and I've set that to three feet. So I've entered three hit okay and then i chose the color of red because i think red to me is like you know a hazard so i use that for zero to three feet i've then gone through and chosen these for uh the five foot range up to the 10 foot up 20 and these are my settings for ranges once i've got those and I've done that all under depth one. So you can set depth two, change it if you want a different, uh, a different layout. But with depth one, that's what I've chosen. So you'll X out of it and you got your contour or your, your map up. All you gotta do is turn on depth one. So you hit depth one and you'll see, there you go. There's, you got all your colors brought up. And in this case, you can see I've got a really defined creek channel, uh, actually two creek channels and you've got your shallow water up in this range. This is kind of a deeper flat. It just makes everything pop out so, so much better. I mean, it just makes you more efficient on the water and it'll keep you safer at the same time. It's really a tool that you want to uh, enable if you're using the Lowrance with CMAP chips. I can't say enough good things about it. It's one of my favorite things about uh, the Lowrance units as a whole and guys, just do it, you'll become a better fisherman. Uh, you know, if it's something that you can customize to yourself, so if there's different ranges you want. And the nice thing about it too, is because, because it's customizable, every time I go to a different lake, I kind of set it all differently. So in this case, uh, at Lake Eufaula here, there is a lot of shallow, dangerous water. So to me, that's really important. I know I'm gonna be fishing a specific range, but when I'm at home, if I'm on a shallow, uh, body of water that maybe you know 15 feet is deep but it's super weedy i i can set certain ranges to to really show me you know the the range i want to fish so if i'm on a milfoil lake and the milfoil is growing in eight to ten foot i can set the eight to ten foot range you know to be green on your my on my map and it'll show me all the areas that i need to look for to find milfoil so it's just really nice to be able to change that uh, but it's a great tool, a great feature. I hope this was helpful, guys. Uh, please like, 
share, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Thanks for watching.